Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Mr. Bonafont. I'm here to basically introduce you to Virtual Job Shadow. Um, first thing you do is you're going to go to the menu website, which is www.virtualjobshadow.com, and you're going to go to the login. Uh, there is no need to create a new account. Every student is already registered in the system. So click on login. And once you get to login, this is the login page. Uh, we're going to log in today as a student. I'm going to use a student who's already in the system. It's just easier. Every student will log in with their first name, dot, last name. And then for their password, it will be their date of birth with six digits, usually month, month, day, day, year, year. So it'll be, for instance, uh, 0701, and then, of course, the year of birth. Again, check with your instructor. All the, all the instructors have a master roster with username and passwords for every student who's registered. Once you put your password in, go ahead and log in. Once you log in, the page will come up and it will welcome you to the program. Now, usually it will display your first name and that you're assigned to Duchess Bosey's Career and Technical Institute. On the uh, opening page, you're going to see cur featured careers. These are careers that they will randomly post here for you in case you're interested. If you scroll down slightly, you're going to see local links. Uh, what we've done is we've linked our eBoard Job Bank. So if you click on eBoard Job Bank, it will take you directly to the Duchess Bosey's eBoard Job Bank. And of course, our Job Bank, uh, every student can register for it. It's free. We have uh, hundreds of employers who are also registered. And what the system does is it actually provides you uh, with the job opportunities in the local areas. Normally, if you scroll down a, a bit to the blue area there, you're going to see the five most recent added vacancies. And these job descriptions are listed to include contact and information that you might need to apply for that particular job. Okay, so going back to virtual job shadow, back to the main page again. And we're just going to go through this very quickly to show you the tools and how to get around the system. Um, you also notice here on the right-hand column, it'll list local internships, um, mainly in our area. So if you're interested in doing a particular summer internship or uh, uh, internship while you're on break from college in the future, you can use this system to actually uh, see what's available in the local area. Um, on the uh, left side column, uh, it'll be your avatar for your profile, and then it'll have three sections. One is called Tools, Favorites, and My History. Uh, you're going to be using basically uh, a lot of these uh, tools, and the best way to get to them easily is by using the four indexes or tabs up on top of the page where it says careers, colleges, jobs, and tools. Let's start with careers. Career Central is basically the main page you'll be working out of. This is the page that will show you all the career clusters or particular trades that are available for you to explore. So you can actually go to any of these and explore, let's say for instance, what's it like to be a nurse in an operating room? You click on the video, the video will launch, and before the video starts, I just want to show you the features underneath it. Uh, there will be question and answers underneath here, usually uh, one to five, one to six questions that you can scroll below and see. And you can answer those questions, or you can take a pop quiz later on. Um, there are transcriptions of the videos, both in Spanish and English, so you can actually see the actual transcript of the uh, video. Once you click the video, the video will start. My name is Darlene Davey. I work at Sibley Memorial Hospital. 
in the operating room, and I'm a nurse. As an operating room nurse, I'm the patient advocate, and I will make sure that nothing happens to them. I will be their eyes and ears in the OR, and I will look out for them as best I can. Everybody works together. We're a team. There's a lot of collaborations between the doctors and the nurses and the support. So that basically gives you an idea of what the videos are all about. The good thing about it is not only does it give you the main video that you're looking at, but if you look to the right column, it'll also have related careers. Uh, so you can see like EMTs, certified medical assistants, etc. So they'll list you some other options to look at. And then just below that in the right-hand column, it'll show you local jobs in the local area. Uh, these are actually jobs that are posted on a daily basis. As you can see, there's some jobs in, in uh, uh, Middletown as well as Poughkeepsie. So uh, that's also available for the student to use. Uh, up in the upper right-hand co uh, column, you'll see where it says Add Favorites. So if you like this particular video, you can click on it and add it to your favorites. So you can take a look at it later. Or you can actually look at it here in your favorites. Okay. Or you can add it to the queue. When you add it to the queue, all that does is that it stores it in your queue so that if you want to come back later and look at a particular career field or trade, you can look at it. You can take a pop quiz. And as you can see, uh, there's no quizzes available right now, or no one has taken a quiz right now. But if you take the quiz, it will come up with some questions and instructions. And you can submit the quiz for evaluation. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you're going to look at now under careers, of course, we talked about my favorites and my queue. So that's basically it. You can always go back to Career Central to look at other career fields. And like I said, all the career clusters are listed in the left column. Okay, let's go to colleges. So under colleges, you can actually search for colleges, not just in New York State, but if you hit the drop down menu, you can look at any state. So you can see all the states are listed, or you can look at the entire United States as once. Um, all you do is put in the name of the college. You can search by city, by degree program, tuition, etc. And if you go and you search a college and you think it's something you'd like to go back and look at, you can also add that to your favorites. Uh, for instance, uh, under colleges, let's go to my colleges. Under the student, I put two colleges in here just for demonstration purposes. And you notice I put in Vassar College and Marist College, two local colleges in the Poughkeepsie area. So if you go back to college tabs and you hit compare colleges, the system will actually compare both colleges and give you pertinent information concerning those colleges from telephone numbers, websites, population, financial aid, admissions, tuition, uh, if they accept ACT uh, scores and what the average scores are, same thing with SATs, all the way through the majors that they offer uh, at the college itself. And it's a, it's a good comparison when you're exploring colleges. So that's another tool you have available. For jobs, again, my job search, you can do local searches here in the Poughkeepsie area. And remember I said we had the eBoard Job Bank connected. We also post uh, on the Workbase Learning Board uh, the local jobs on the eBoard Job Bank. So you can see the jobs are placed here. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll be updating those periodically. Uh, under my jobs, uh, if you have any favorite jobs that you've listed, they would be listed here. Let's go to the tools. Under tools, the main tool that we're concerned about that we will want every student to use is the grad tracker. So every student should fill out this grad tracker survey or inventory. It's four easy steps, it's very short, and there's a final submission of the interview when you've completed all the information. Um, this grad tracker is important because we are required by New York State Education to track placement of our students. In other words, what are they doing after they graduate from here? So once you fill this grad tracker, the virtual job shadowing folks will contact you six to eight months after you graduate 
and they will contact you either by email or telephone number or whatever, whatever contact information you've left in the grad tracker. And they will conduct a basically a telephone or online survey with you to see how you're doing in your uh, future career or your current placement. If you have any questions about how to use it, there's a video tutorial that you can click on. The tutorial will pop up and play. Hello, my name is James with Virtual Job Shadow, and today in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use the Grad Tracker tool. So it's a good idea to use the video tutorial and go through it. It takes about two minutes. And again, please uh, complete the Grad Tracker before you depart us from BOCES. Uh, going back under Tools, you will see that there's a place for your career plan. And you can actually start a career plan. There's sort of a checklist here that you can follow. It's good for 12th and 11th graders. And you can actually build a resume in Virtual Job Shadow. All you do is fill out the information and go through the sections. And then you just save the changes and you'll have a printable resume. Um, that's basically it for the tools. I uh, just wanted to cover one more thing, which is the online magazines. Uh, Virtual Job Shadow provides every student with a uh, an area where they can do some more career exploration concerning job advice and career magazines. Plenty of articles and plenty of information for you concerning the world of work, from soft skills to resume building to how to correctly use social media uh, for your professional benefit in the future. So think about using it often. And it's available, and it's and it's updated uh, constantly. So you won't see the same stagnant articles in this section. Um, that's basically it. Let's go back to Career Central. That's basically a, uh, basically a quick tour of the Virtual Job Shadow Program. Please use it. You can use this at home, sign on, uh, sit down with your parents and discuss possible future careers with them, and let them see what these jobs are all about. And you'll learn also what these jobs are all about. Uh, if you have any questions, again, you can contact me. I'm in the main office. I'm the job placement specialist and the coordinator for work-based learning programs. Or ask your teacher. Uh, thanks very much for your time. And uh, please use the virtual job shadow program.